What's up pizza people? It's Jesse from Patio Pizza and today we're talking about nailing the perfect time and temperature rest for your pizza dough. I've made over a hundred videos now and every one of them I've said rest your pizza dough before you bake it off but I've never said for how long and what temperature you're looking for. That is until today, because today I'm gonna to tell you exactly where you want your dough to be before you bake it. Stay tuned until the end, because this video might have the power to completely transform your pizza game. Let's get going. All right, for today's little experiment, I made a batch of my standard 48 hour dough using a poolish starter, a cold proofed in the fridge for 36 hours. The dough recipe video is linked in the description below if you're interested in the actual dough recipe I used to make this video. I am pulling the dough out of the fridge at strategic time increments of four hours, two hours, one hour, and five minutes before I intend to cook each dough ball. So the only variable that has changed here is the amount of time each dough ball rested at room temperature before being baked. I'm going to start the experiment by baking the dough ball that has rested at room temperature for four hours. I checked the external temp of the dough and to no surprise, it reached the ambient temperature of my kitchen at about 73 degrees Fahrenheit. It's summer and my house is toasty. This dough is extremely easy to stretch. It was loose and a little too thin. And after its long room temperature rest, it was also really gassed up. Each of the pizzas today are gonna to get the same toppings, a little of my homemade tomato sauce, followed by a little sprinkle of Parmigiano, and then a couple of cubed up pieces of low moisture mozzarella. I then baked them off in the Rockbox pizza oven at 750 degrees. I love this oven. There's a link for it in the description below. Okay, here's what the four hour rest pizza looked like after it finished cooking. She's a real beaut. All right, this is four hours, uh, four hours at room temp before I cooked it. You can get an idea what it looks like. The flavor's good, not much crunch. Not a ton of spring back. Great flavor though. Pretty solid. Let's try the next one. Next up is the dough that's been resting at room temperature for one hour. This dough is nice and soft, but not nearly as soft as the four hour dough. It looks like it reached a temperature of about 66, 67 degrees. I topped and baked it just as I did on the last pizza, and this is what we have. All right, this is the one hour uh, room temperature proof. Uh, it's definitely got a little bit more crisp and spring back than the four hour. Hot, very hot. Not quite the depth of flavor, but the texture is better. That's good though, money. All right, next up is the five minute dough. I'm taking this one straight out of the fridge and I'm going for it. It's actually a little warmer than I would have expected at about 50 degrees. I'm guessing the internal temperature is below 40, but I should probably have the fridge checked out. This dough ball is pretty tight. It could definitely benefit from a longer rest at room temperature just to make it a little easier to work with. Once again, I topped and baked it just like the other pizzas and here we go. All right, this one came right out of the fridge, went right into the oven. So less than five minutes probably. Um, probably the most crunch so far. Springback seems uh, pretty average for what we've done so far today. Good cook. Depth of flavor is not there compared to the other ones. A little bit on the bland side. I'm surprising. I'm surprised it's as bland as it is. I didn't think that that would have that big of a difference. Unfortunately, the texture might actually be the best too, though. Not as chewy as the longer and warmer doughs. Two hour coming up. All right, the last contestant has rested at room temperature for two hours. It appears to be about 68 degrees. It's nice and soft and well gassed up. And topped, baked, and this is what we got. A beautifully baked Neo New York style pizza. Okay, this is the two hour room temperature uh, final proof dough. And I can already tell just by the way it feels that it's gonna be the best. I guess that's that. That's the answer. I haven't even tried it yet, but let's keep going on this video here. Don't leave me yet. Um, two hours in. Yeah, I mean, this, the crumb structure looks the best. It's got the best bounce back. It's got the most crunch. I'm gonna bet the flavor is also probably the best. 
That was really hot. Not quite as much developed flavor as the four hour, but almost as good. But the texture is spot on. All right, hang tight for my final conclusions. All right, shortly after shooting the video today, I actually moved and relocated Patio Pizza HQ to a whole new house. Uh, a lot of exciting stuff here. I can't wait to show you more of the kitchen and the outdoor area where we're gonna be cooking a lot more pizzas. But key takeaways from today. Number one, a room temperature rest of at least one hour is crucial for flavor developments and ease of handling of your dough balls. Number two, a room temperature rest of four hours or longer is going to result in very thin, overly gassed dough. It's going to be hard to work with, but will have great flavor. End result is going to be not so crispy, maybe not as much spring back as you would like. So over four hours, probably a bit much. Number three, it appears the ideal temperature for a dough ball before baking is somewhere between 65 and 70 degrees. I had great luck at 68. Number four, for the style of dough that I like to make and use, 68 degrees and a two hour rest seems to be the perfect sweet spot, the Goldilocks, if you will, of pizza dough. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already. We got a lot of new awesome pizza things happening here at Patio Pizza, including an epic oven build in the new backyard. I can't wait to share that with you. Until then, love you lots. Stay salty. Mwah.